Oh, hey, we're live, I think. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I, should, I should probably, you know, react to the fact that I've started streaming as opposed to just sit there and stare, you know, blankly. Oh, boy. I am tired, people. I am tired, tired, tired from watching my bot do funny and hilarious things. Okay, that's not entirely accurate. I'm more tired because... On nights when I say I should be done streaming at 10.30, I keep streaming till 12.30 and then wonder why I stay up till 3.30 doing the things I should have been doing otherwise. In any case, here's where we left off. On last night's episode, we modified the bot to do the conga line thing, and it does its dance. And we'll just we'll play through an example here. Let's step it up to 5x, make it go. I'm yellow in this one, by the way. He goes up, they go back. It goes down. It goes back. It goes up. I should mention it spawns in there with an off by one error somewhere. It goes back. It goes up again. And then we hit the halfway point of the game. It goes back. And as soon as it gets here, scatter. Well, maybe not right away. And apparently the code isn't doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It probably scatters like right here or something. I don't know. Nope. Yep. There it goes. So at this point, then the bots go wherever they want to go. They do their thing. They look for halite. Sometimes they attack things. They then, you know, sometimes do the attack where they cover the other opponent, that kind of thing, just to, you know, be annoying and, and see what can be accomplished. Um, all in all, uh, not a bad match. Won this one 34,000 to a bunch of other scores. Um, and so there are a few things. Hey, Chebby, how's it going? Um, there are a few things about my bot that I really like. I, I really enjoy the dance that it does. I think it's cool. I don't necessarily know that it's the most efficient thing in the world, but I do find it highly interesting. Um, but I feel like I feel like there's something more. I feel like there's something that needs to be done to take the bot to the next level. Um... I, I I need to either, well, I don't know. Part of me wants to do a classifier. Um, in fact, it's, it's a fairly well-known algorithm used for um, facial recognition where uh, basically you, you kind of like take the sum of half of something and the sum of the other half and you figure out which one's darker or lighter, as the case may be, and then use that as your classifier to determine where the halite is and then use that to influence how the turtles start moving. So I, I've kind of got two options on the table. Maybe Nick should do it. Can you make them dance around the spawn point like hands on the clock? You know, that's not a bad idea. We were talking about doing a plus instead today and what that would mean, like trying to, you know, part of it would be like, could you rotate it? I thought about like trying to do a spiral out or something, but then you have to like spiral recoil and they all just die in that scenario. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of interesting patterns you could make. Um, but I think, I think we really need to go. I, I, well, I think the question is what are we trying to accomplish here? So we could, we could continue this experiment and maybe that's not a bad idea at this point because there are still a few things to learn. Namely, like, for example, this classifier here. Uh, I should mention, this is Coding with Dad, by the way, for those of you who may be watching already. Uh, not Minecraft with Dad, where Link is here. We haven't done Minecraft with Dad for a while now because Link is out of the Minecraft mood at this point. But um, one day it'll come back, and then we'll stream for 30 episodes, and then we'll, we'll do something else. But this is Coding with Dad, where we code Halite. You're welcome to join us. Halite is free. It is addicting. It is a great way to learn programming, and it is frustrating as all get out at times. Back to what I was saying. So we could build like a classifier. Like, for example, let's just talk about this opening right here, right? And this is actually a pretty ideal opening all around, except if you actually look at them here, it would have been a little bit smarter just based on my eyesight here to have gone north. Um just based on where the halite was. Um, and then when we get to the, the next side or whatever, it probably, south was probably the right choice there, but, you know, did we have to go that way? We could have, we could analyze each quadrant and at any given point look at a specific quadrant to see which one makes sense. Um, 
I I don't know. I just don't know. Um, part of me wants to do that to see if we can push this bot. I should probably mention where the bot is sitting. Um, there are some. There is a new leader on top of the leaderboard, which is kind of nice uh, to see. It means that there are people that are out there that can be beat. Um, but in our own little personal math and science academy leaderboard, if you will, let's force reload the page because I hear the badges sometimes magically start working properly. Hey, look at that. So we currently have Simland sitting up here at 55.6, which for the moment is the current leader of our group. Um, Kevin sitting back here at 53. And I'm down here at 46.7. So, I mean, if I optimize it, you know, maybe the algorithm, maybe the algorithm pushes me up back into the 50s. But I already have a bot that's in the 50s, and it didn't have a lot of the advancements we made on this bot. So I'm not sure... I'm not sure what to do, people. I'm not sure what to do. Um, and then we have all this code. So the other thing that I'm also not entirely sure about is at what point do you build a new... So here's here's where this... And, and I, I kind of do it here in the video regardless, but the the scatter mentality or whatever that occurs here at the end of the match, that, that scatter needs to happen regardless. Um, I don't know why it waits to do it until then. I feel like this isn't the right version of my code or something. I'm going to go look at my code real quick and see. I should actually look at when I submitted it because did I submit one really late last night? Like, did I submit one after... The initial submission, because I, I honestly don't remember what I did. So last night, 2.08 a.m. That doesn't sound right. I don't think I was awake at 2.08 a.m. Maybe I was. Maybe I went retroactive. No, because this only had one game. Hmm. I don't know. Timing seems... It retired on that, so it actually got submitted at 12.27. This one must have got submitted at like 12.28. Did I do any work after that? I don't know. I don't remember if I... Well, I must have, because something got submitted at 2.08, but I don't remember being awake at 2.08 last night. Was I awake? In any case, this is the problem. Uh, why does it have a gap in the line? Uh, because somewhere in there I have a plus one error. I feel like my bot got reverted or something... Because Exter, no, this is still the reverse, reverse dance moves going on. We still have the pointer going on. So all of that's in here. I think I'm going to download this bot, and I'm going to call it, uh, let's go put it in our bots folder so I don't lose it. We'll call it bot42 because it's like literally that number. This is... Um, I don't know. This is the bot that, that, uh, we'll call it the conga line bot. Conga line bot. We may come back to it. Um, but I think at this point, I kind of want to, kind of want to move towards something else. I kind of want to work towards something else that could be behaving. And here's the real problem with that decision is I don't know how I'm going to get it done tonight if that's what I'm going to do. Um, I, um, maybe I should... Hmm, too many... Let's Okay, let's go for the small improvement. Let's go for... Let's do it. Let's go for the the classifier being added to this thing. I also... But let's go see where the scatter is. Because I feel like the scatter... Where was halfway in this game? Halfway is... 250 turns. Was it just a really badly timed? No. It was past halfway. It should have... Let's go look. Where's the code? That code's really blank. Let's grab this and paste it in here so we can look at it this way. Um, file, save as, we'll call it... Let's put it someplace we can find it. We'll call it uh, sweeper two point uh, sweeper two dot Okay. Um, I might have been sleep coding last night. It's it's not impossible. Um, stranger things have happened. 
Okay, so the scatter for scatter to occur, I thought I had it set to go off at zero. So let's just see if I can figure out how scatter works. So if global state equals move, then we reactivate some sensors. If global state is not equal to move. Ah, so right here. So if game turn number is less than halfway, then all can move. Else, if global state is not equal to move, which means that we're in this initial state, we're in the move together state, then we're going to continue to call sensors all can move, but we're going to set something called global flip. And global flip, when it works right, global flip is supposed to then, yeah, cause the global state to be move as soon as we trigger a reverse reverse, which means the boss gets back to base. So that's, that's not bad. So let's try to do our classifier. So right now we determine, um, the, the, the thing that's determining whether or not we go up or down is completely just based on this rotation, right? So I want to continue to alternate X. X makes sense to alternate because, um, well, maybe it doesn't. Maybe X doesn't make sense to alternate. We may have to come back to that. But Y makes sense to... Well, X makes sense to alternate because we need to turn in our halite. That's that's the reason it makes sense. Sorry. It, there, is a, there is a legitimate reason for that. Um, but Y, Y we should be able to go whichever direction has more halite. So we need to find a quick and easy way to do that. And I'm going to try to remember an algorithm that was... Again, it's it's a facial recognition algorithm from back in the day. It's a classifier. And I'm not sure if I can remember how to implement it off the top of my head. It's a little bit of math, but it's not hard math. So the first thing we need to do is we need to establish a new mathematical array. Um, and just for the sake of this, 2D arrays in JavaScript. I'm pretty sure I can just write a 2D array. I don't have to declare anything. Uh, da, da, da. So var items, yeah, that works too. Can I just define stuff? XI, do I have to say new array? It seems like I could. Array equals array, hmm. There is a function called create 2D array. Yes. In JavaScript? Yes. No, maybe. Um, let me see what I did for my GitHub project. For hi Kevin, by the way. Welcome back to the stream. Yeah. I finished um the oh, rubric yeah. scared me because it was different, but <laughs> fingers crossed. I mean, right. I can just copy this. I mean, it's not built in, but this will create the array that I'm looking for. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create an array. Oh. Okay. Um, we're going to need to do it with every game map, so we might as well do it here. Oh, But it's a function. Well, whatever. I don't really care. We'll call it var create 2d array equals function because I like non-standard function calls or function definitions. Okay, so we've got create 2d array, return array. That'll be nice. Uh, the 2d array. So we're going to call this, um, they have a term for it, integral. We'll call it, I don't like the word integral. It's too long and too complicated. So we're going to call this easy math array. And it's going to create a 2D array uh, that is equal to it's game map dot width, right? Not game dot width. Yeah, that should work. OK, so easy math array should give me an array that is equal to the width of the board and then we need to create a loop. 
game map is uh, generated every round. That way it can update the highlight mounts on every tile and yep. the ship placements on every tile. Yep. So yeah. bear with me while I remember how to do this math. It's a loop. For var i equals zero, i is less than game map dot width i plus plus Oof. for var j equals zero j is less than game map dot width j plus plus two things what you should use let instead of var but that's just a preference thing because it's different scoping and then you want to do j is less than uh game map dot height no i don't really care they're all symmetrical and my oh. array has to be symmetrical sure. anyway so yeah. <laughs> yeah. My bad. It's fine. I'll live with it. Okay. Um, is the game map generated each round or is there a number? Oh, that was what Nick was an or Kevin was answering for Nick. Okay. I was wondering why you're just spewing randomness to the stream. It's because I'm not paying attention to the chat. That's what yeah. I get. Not That's paying attention. Why I'm here. So I can advocate. Advocate know. for the, the viewers. I appreciate it. Okay. So Uh, I need to think. I need to put on my thinking cap. Um, in fact, I may need to look something up. Think, 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 think. Oh, um... Okay. Easy math array equals nope I J and Can we just do it in a row? I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm not watching the stream right now. That's okay. No, I'm my so I am I am very, very tired. I I am mm -hmm. I am losing it, Kevin. This this should not be hard math. So yes. the first the first number is gonna equal like I know I know it's this game map dot get new position I J dot halite amount okay so i just i gotta i gotta go through the map so if if let's just pretend for the sake of it that in the upper left corner of the map is one halite then there will be a value of one now in zero zero right mm -hmm. <sighs> now Let's iterate. So J now J will be our X in this case because I want my let's let's actually treat things that way. What's then. what's your point of making an array out of another array? Why, game... why, why am I I'm not duplicating game map. That's not what I'm doing here. I am okay. creating I am creating something that allows us to do some really cool math to do this quickly. But I have to remember how to do the calculation first. And it's not that hard. It's pretty easy. I just don't remember the exact steps. So the I need to add up. So the next, the next thing I'm going to do is going to be... So we iterate. J is now 2, I is 0. Easy math should equal... 
let's do this. Var counter equals. I gotta declare the the counter outside of this, otherwise. Yeah. Although actually no, because I need to reset it every time. So var counter equals zero. Counter plus equals the same number. So counter should now be one as well. So they're both one. We loop. This actually needs to change then to be this plus counter. So what will end up happening is if the first spot has one halide and the second spot has four, three halide, then what we end up is with one and four. Yeah. And then if the third spot has four halide, we end up with one, four, eight. And it'll do that all the way to the end of the row. Okay. First row, easy calculation. So okay. this is a series, right? Sure. <laughs> Don't ask me real mathematical terms anymore today. I, my brain, I'm, I'm trying to do math that I haven't done in 15 years, and it's not even hard math. I just, I, I'm tired. Okay. So we, we finished the loop. So now we're on row two. And row two is a little bit trickier because we're going to get to the same spot. And I think we can get away with some of the same math. But var counter needs to equal, like, do I need a y counter? Is that is that what I need? So well, then, yeah, let's do that. Var y counter equals uh, zero. So then counter doesn't equal zero. Counter equals y counter. No, counter equals counter equals. Oh, my head's just. It'll add. Well, let's start at zero. Y counter. So the first time around, it's going to get one. The second time, though, if it has four. It needs to get seven again. Or, and then you need to make sure to add counter to Y counter. Although, hmm. Y, y counter equals counter plus Y counter. Is that all it is? I need, I need to look at this in Excel. I need to, I need to like see or y counter plus equals counter. Okay, um, I, I'm just I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the imaginary grid here of halite so that we have some numbers to work with. Two, three. Uh, we're gonna assume f five here for the sake of it. Six here. We'll put uh, two here. We'll put four here. We'll put five there. We'll put four there. One there. Uh, three, two, one, five. Four, three, one. Okay, so this is our this is our pretend halite map. Okay, mm -hmm. here's the grid. Here's the math I want to have happen. So this is a two, this is a five, this is ten, and this is thirteen. Okay. Yeah. I'm summing that. Yep. This is seven. This is. Uh, 11, 14, 16. Oh, that's where this algorithm gets tricky. It's this plus this, so 7, plus 9. Wait, is that all? Mm. So, <laughs> no, there's, there's an easy way to do this. I just have to remember what it is. 2 plus 3, 5... That is the right number, right? 5, 10, 16, 2 plus 7 plus 2 plus 9 is 16. That's not a coincidence. 7 plus 9 is 16. Yeah, that's not a coincidence. So I can just get the cell above and the cell behind. So this is x 
but how do I get the cell above? Because it's I j i minus one. So it's i minus one plus this. Okay, I'm just going to keep going to make sure that I'm not wrong. So seven, and then this becomes. Well, we we've decided that it should just be sixteen plus ten, so twenty six. Is that right? So yeah. some of this says twenty five. Why is that the case? What am I missing? Why is it sixteen? Oh no, sick one. Because it's the sum of all of these. Oh. So five, ten, six plus. That's not twenty six. That's twenty five. So twenty five. So it's not the previous two numbers. It's seven Every plus sixteen. Number. No, it's like uh, basically what you're doing. If uh, so, I think I can just keep adding. But I want to make the adding simple. So this what is you're 16. what you're doing, you're basically having a for loop which goes from zero to length and then zero to width and then it creates that 2d but oh in, i'm being stupid you're right you're right that, kevin i'm being stupid yes but if you're doing what i think you're doing then you're gonna want to have a for loop inside yep. of the for loop which iterates over yep previous which I, I know I know what I know what you're saying. Yeah. So x plus plus. Let's do this the right way. Let <laughs> y equals zero. Y is less than game map dot height. Y plus plus. I knew it was simple. I just couldn't figure out why. So then this is actually not let i equal this. This is let i equal x. I plus plus. Yes. And then this is let j go to j is less than y. Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got we've got our four loops. Okay. And then what we're gonna do here is before we get in here, we're gonna go total var total equals zero. And we're gonna say total equals plus equals, which adds the previous value to Game mat, this this thingy. We're gonna get the halide amount. Yeah. And then what we're gonna do is when we get to the end of this, we're then going to say easy math array x y equals total. Does that la sound right to you, Kevin? Yeah, that that looks right. That looks right to me too. I think I think we figured this out. Okay, so you're all thinking to yourselves, Justin, what the hell are you smoking tonight? What could you possibly do with an array like that being calculated every single turn? Like, why why waste the time to do this? You're not asking a bad question. But I'm not 100% certain I can remember the answer. I just think I remember the answer. So, we want I need to remember why I was doing this. <laughs> Couldn't I? I guess I could just add up the hail. Oh, that seems too simplistic. You know what? We're going to save this code so that I don't have to write it again. Here's what's supposed to happen. There's a fancy way to then take this math and mm -hmm. find the... You can do some some interesting subtraction where you can subtract part of part of the array from one part of the other. So going back going back to my 
example. So, um, like, using the determinant, except much harder? Well, let me, kind of, yeah. Let, I'll just use this as the example. Let's say I wanted to find um, a 2x2, two two, which 2x2 two two grid, or which 2x2 two two in here has the most halite. Um, right? Yeah. Um, I guess I would need to finish this to actually do this example. So this is 25. This is 30. This is 9. This is 22. This is 32. This is 38. This is 10. This is, I don't think I read that right. This is 26. This is 40. And this is 51. Okay, so you wanna find the two by two area that has the most halite and you want to do it relatively quickly or try to figure out um, you know, what's going on. So you could, um, you could cheat, or well, you could do this. You could calculate this and be like, oh, that's 16. I'm just gonna write it down. I'm gonna sum over them. 16, yeah. this is 14, this is 10, and this is 11. Okay, you could do that calculation and then be like, oh, I'm going to pick the 16 because that's, and in fact, that might end up being what I'm doing because I'm going to be doing a relatively basic version of this, I think. But um, oh. the, the problem okay. with this, the problem with this particular methodology is it requires you to, if, if you expand this out, like if you expand this out to a giant grid and you start saying, I want this piece and my, like this piece and this piece and this piece, the problem is if you're going to do a lot of that, like for example, in a facial search algorithm where you're trying to find people's faces, or mm -hmm. in this case, if you're trying to find the exact pool of halite of a certain dimension that could be anywhere on a grid of 64 by 64, um, if you know what you're looking for, uh, you can do some things that cheat. Namely, you can grab this, if you know what quadrant you're trying to look for, you can grab this number like let's say let's say you want this area here that's easy you can simply grab the, the corner for it so that's 16 but if you want this area this area happens to be equal to 51 minus 26 minus 30 plus 32 i believe if i remember right maybe it's just plus 16. Yeah, plus 16. So what did I do there? I took 51, my starting number. I took 30, the corner number for the area that I'm going to subtract. So I'm going to subtract that area. The corner number for the other area I'm going to subtract, which is 26. So there's the 26 and the 30. I subtract both of them from 51. And then I add in one round of the upper left corner that I did, I counted twice because I subtracted once this way and I subtracted once this way. So I counted the, I subtracted this area twice. So remove, remove, add, and I get 11. That makes calculating this, um, instead of it being a summation over what could possibly be, and again, I realize that this is only two nodes, but instead of it being a summation over uh, or four numbers, instead of it being a summation over four numbers, it becomes three calculations every single time there is never it will never be more than three calculations to figure out a specific region which again if you're in a 64 by 64 grid and you're going to be scanning it three operations is a heck of a lot better than say doing a summation over four pixels or something like that so it's there are there are some perks to doing this math um in advance if you're going to be doing that and I hope to be doing it, but you know what? I'm not going to be doing it tonight. That's, that's what I just realized. I'm going to do this simpler. I am going to determine 
Let's go find. <sighs> we have to we have to pick a region. That's the other problem here. That's probably why I, I earlier today when I was thinking about it, I wanted to pick the region based on how long it was going to take to get to a thousand. I could actually do the math pretty dang easily to figure out what a thousand is using that chart. But I don't want to do that. Uh, so, okay. Um, let's just see. Where it's Y move that I'm looking for. Y move. Y dir. Y dir. Okay. So if X dir equals negative one, then Y dir equals that. So it's saying. I don't I don't want this code. I just want to comment it out. So when we get to the point of determining y dir. Yep, I'll be back. Yep. yep. Y dir only matters. I think we should look two rows out. So if We need to create a box. So for, we're gonna do another for loop here. For x equals something. X is less than something. X plus plus. For y equals something. Y is less than something. My brain is, again, a little tired to try to figure out what that something is. Y plus plus. Total. One. Okay, and this is this is what I'm saying. Where I could probably subtract this, and it'd probably be easier. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna call this total two. So um, we want uh, from. Interesting. Do we use y dir at all here? We don't. So let's move this. Let's move it here. Because let's see if this works. So our pointer should have a shipyard position of y and That's what we want. So it's going to be shipyard position y me dot shipyard dot position dot y. Y is less than that plus. Let's look at three. I like three. Maybe four. It should it should probably be based on how many turtles there are, so let's do that. Ships created. So we're gonna scan in the positive direction. We know that total equals. Uh, we can actually go steal this line. It's actually the same thing here. That's why I didn't get rid of it because I knew we'd need it. Oh, Nick, if you're saying your brain is just fried, you're like me. I don't know. Total to game map, new position. We're going to use X and Y again. So X and Y, halite amount. So we're going to scan that. We need to figure out our position, though, in X space. X space is going to be... We'll just do it like this, me.shipyard.position.x. Um, I don't want to put a bunch of if statements in here. I'm trying to avoid that. So x is less than or greater to is going to vary. I could have it. Mm, Mm, 
we'll do it like this. For x, it, well, x is not equal. It's, is this a while? Yes, it's a while. While, yeah. Um, while x is not equal to um, global target dot x, then x equals x plus x dir. So it's either going to count up or count down, and it'll stop when it gets to the global target. Hopefully, I don't screw up this loop somehow. So that looks great. We're going to copy this to here. So this is total 1. And then we're going to say uh, y plus plus. Uh, this is going to be y minus minus. And this is going to be y minus chips created. So total 1, total 2. If total 1 is greater than total 2, then y equals negative 1. Else, y equals 1. Okay, uh, except for it's not y. It's y dir, y dir, y dir, y dir. It's a pun, y dir. Okay, so we've got this crazy, crazy scanner. That will go from the shipyard position to the target. Is the target the end of the line? Extra plus ships created. I'm just trying to think here. Give me a moment. Pointer moves out. Ships to create. See, that doesn't feel right. Like this. That might be where my error is, Nick, earlier. Where it's coming. It might be this plus extra that's actually causing the problem. But I think there's a minus one or something in there that gives me trouble. So we've got this. Let's just run this and see what it does. I might. It might actually be right. I really don't know. Save. Run. Give me an error. Everybody, your bot crashed. Communication error, read error, 399. Came Look, back. Welcome back. That's on line 399. I'm not even dealing with that code. 390, oh, did I not forget to close, or did I forget to close something? That closes, not the right thing. I forgot to open something, boom. And if I forgot to open it once, I forgot to open it twice because I copied and pasted. So this matches the for loop. That matches the for loop. Save it. Copy it all. Paste it. Save it. Run it. Compile it. Finish the tutorial. I don't know if I'm if this is a tutorial. Your bot crashed. Yay. Why am I not running it locally? I've got that. Sensor can all move. <laughs> Editor 303. 303. Didn't like that. What did it not like? X is not defined. Did I not say X? I should probably like put the word let here. Let. <laughs> let. Let. Save. Oh, I know why I'm not compiling. Because I saved this to the wrong spot earlier when I decided I was going to work on it. I needed to save also. it into this folder. We're going to call it sweeper2.js again. Then we're going to come down here to that command line window that is apparently not open anymore. I guess not. CMD, D, CD. I like also, do you initialize total 1 and total 2 as integers? Why would I do something like that? That's just, you know, standard good programming practices that I can perfectly and willfully ignore when I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Sounds uh, accurate. Okay, so Kevin's right. Mm -hmm. Var total 1 equals 0. Var total 2 equals 0. Save that. We need to make one small change to the script that runs the game. Um, I don't like using that program to edit stuff because that causes problems. Run game. Um, 
So we called it sweeper two with a lowercase s. We're gonna put the other Penguin. sweeper. We're gonna put the other sweeper over here. Penguin. Uh huh. Because I, I have see sweeper. Hey, penguin. Well, hope you're having a good evening. Uh, da 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 Indeed. Oh, Josh sweeper, sweeper, one. sweeper beat the. I want to see the replay of this. Wait, did sweeper two beat sweeper one? Yeah, even Dang. though technically it was sweet. Yeah. Uh, look at all these like windows I've got open. Um, watch, watch and learn. Where's the replay? Uh, seventeen. Hey, light. Replays. Boom, shakalaka. Let's watch this. Let's see if the bot is on. Oh, my gosh. I can't even look at the seed. Okay. So, wait. Green went down. Now, green is scanning a 5x5 five five area. One, two, three, four, five. There's a giant white one here. I don't see as much halo up here. So, so far, I would say it made the right decision. What would you say? Yeah. Compared to the pink bot, it made the right decision. Uh, was the pink? The, well, the pink bot's not smart, so we don't yeah, have to worry. Yeah, exactly. Which means that, well, theoretically, the green one and it took a two turtle beating right at the beginning. Wow. <sighs> okay. So <sighs> green comes out with six bots to retaliate. Okay. Now we got to make a decision. If it was me, with my I eyeball. Would. I, I, I'm looking at a six by six grid here, right? One, two, um, three, four, five, six. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six. I would be leaning towards up. I would be too. <gasps> Ooh, Which way is it going to go? Oh, they're looking down. They went down, which is what they normally would do. Um, bad. Now, here, in theory, they would go up. Except I would think they actually go down here based on some of the well, they crazy. They should go down. They went yeah. down. Because maybe you didn't update the run script. Let's see. Now, okay. Now, this time, I think they should go up. Nope. They went down again. They seem I would to have... check out the run script. Where... Are you... Running the new sweeper? Yeah. In the upper left corner. Yeah, but are you sure it's a new sweeper? What? Did you change the run game dot sh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're talking about this line, right? You wanted me to change it to sweeper too. Right? Yeah, okay. I did. Yeah, yeah. So total one. Hmm. Interesting. LinkedIn. I feel like it did what it was supposed to. Except People. it didn't. So here's what I'm going to do. I, I think the best course of action whenever you can't tell what a bot is doing is make it tell you what it's doing. So... Yes. So log everything. Exactly. So here's what I'm gonna do gonna do right before this if. Actually, right after this if, I'm gonna have it tell me decision time. And then we're gonna say wider, because that's what it decided, followed by total one, followed by Total two, followed by I like additional information. I want to know see, I think there's a problem with the global target in this case. I feel like I feel like it's shifted maybe hmm. Hmm. I'm just going to do this. Var length 
x equals 0, length x plus plus. I want to know how many times it went on the x. Penguin broke tutorial code, but how? You know, so here's here's the interesting thing about the tutorial. I haven't done it myself, um, but everybody that I've heard that has done it, somehow the tutorial does not end up working. Josh tried to do it earlier today. It didn't work out for him. Um, so, and now Penguin tried it, and it, it's not working for her. So I don't know if it's if there's like just it's prone to human error or if there if there is actually something wrong in the tutorial that is leading people astray okay sweeper bot version 2 did not win that case we're going to look at bot zero's code um wait when is it calling that? It's only... Does it ever call it? It only calls it during reverse, which that's Ooh. not right. You should call it always. Well, not always. It needs to call it whenever it starts making it. Well, maybe it is always. Because I guess it could... No, because we don't want it to dance. Once it picks a direction, it needs to stay that direction. Yeah. But that's here. Down, return, back. That is here. But we didn't do it the first time. We didn't do it the first. We didn't do it the first time. <laughs> Sounds like Nick so gives up wife? after 30 minutes. What? Nick is a hard worker. I spent 30 minutes and gave up <laughs> because I have no idea what. It, with the tutorial. Yeah. Okay, so where's, 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 where's the initial wider set? The initial wider is just set to one because I know, I know that that's what I want it to be, but that's not what I want it to be. So before we get into the game loop, we're going to modify that. We're just going to change our logic a little bit. Um, we know... Because of the way the world works, we know that it is shipyard.position.x. Uh, do we actually set the global target at this point? No, we haven't. When do we set the global target? We could probably just do it right after that or at the same time. Let's do it at the same time. Yes. Uh, that was right. Global pointer, global target. Global target is established right here. Homework. Any of these variables not defined at this point? Halite amount's good. Ships created is good. Global target is good. Game map is good. Wider is now set. Hopefully, we should probably put that logging in here. Um, let's just do this. Wider equals wider. Boom. Save. Then we go down here and we hit a button and we go woofity woo. That's fair. That's fair, Nick. You you should do the homework first because if you don't, you end up in situations like me where you're awake way too much. So here's what I'm wondering. I may have my Y backwards. Um, uh, you could in the sense that uh, so, X is Y and Y is X. Yeah, exactly. No, not that. I don't have that problem. Okay. I, don't, I don't think. But I think I might have Y being set to negative one when it should be positive one and vice versa. But we'll see. So we're gonna hit watch. We're gonna watch this replay so I can match it up with the log. Was this the right replay? I don't even know. What replay is this? And you know what I hate? Whenever you have a hangouts message but you don't look at it, so it just keeps blinking. Uh yeah, that's that seems like a reasonable thing to hate. Yeah. Okay, so green green comes out. And visually, I would say down is the better choice. Down was the better choice again. I feel like this is the game we just... Whatever. Um, yeah, that was the same game. How would it be the exact same game? I don't believe you. You're running a seed, are you not? Are you? No. This is seed four. Oh, I guess I am. Uh, that's probably what the S variable is. <laughs> yeah. 
You're running so the seed. I'm running seed number four for this test case. Um, so let's just see. It's set. It's set wider to one. Maybe I should find a seed where wider shouldn't be one. But let's let's just keep going. So da 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 da. -da. Look at it played exactly the same way. That's weird. Never would have guessed. No randomness to the spot. Which okay. means that it's very deterministic. Yep. Okay. Yep. So it decided to go down again, which we might be right. We don't know. So somewhere in here it calls... Somewhere in here it should be saying reverse. Reverse. Yeah, reverse. Okay. Decision time. It decided wider should be one because the total for one side was zero and the total for the other side was 1,050 whatever. And we've created nine ships so far, which is a little confusing because ships died. Um, but that's okay. I'm okay with that calculation. So, um, we know, we know that this zero is wrong. <laughs> uh, so the total one value is getting calculated incorrectly. So shipyard X, X is not equal to global target dot X. That should be fine, right? Because global target just got defined. Let's look at the other one. I don't care as much about that one right now. Sensor. What's this? So global target dot X just got defined. So we should be good there. X equals X plus Xter. Because Xter is being defined. Where's the closing bracket on this? No, that's fine. It's fine. So it should either subtract. Okay, I believe that's right. Shipyard position Y. Y is less than. I think this should be flipped. Y is greater than. Because we're subtracting. That would be why this one failed. Okay, so we'll save that. I probably should go fix that on the other thing, even though I don't know that it. Well, it probably does come into play. Just not as much. Yeah, there we go. Boom. What just happened there? Boom. There we go. Save. Okay, so then we go back and we run it again. Sweeper took second place to the other sweeper, but let's again check the behaviors because that's what matters in life. I'm less concerned about what the bots actually did and more concerned about the behavior. So they go down. Oh no, Kevin died. He fell out of his chair. Whoops. Okay, generate spots. Now again, we believe it should go up. Oh, it went up this time. It made a decision. It went back home. It came back out. Now, I think it's going to go down again. It went down. Nice. And it goes the other way, and it goes up. Oh, I like it, Kevin. Wait, it works now. What'd you do? I was too busy breaking things. I, I just, I fixed the loop that was broken. Rats. Look at it, it's, ah. so, it's so pretty. And then they scatter. Whee! Look at them go. And it wins? I'm sure, it, I, no, it, it lost to the other bot because I think the other bot managed to both, uh, let's just say the other bot managed to not be victims of mass genocide as much, although it did end up with only two ships at the end, but mm -hmm. the red bot crashed at some point. Poor guy. Yeah. It's interesting that it missed that one spot. Oh, because it was a crashed ship and 
Nobody the bots had. move upwards till it reaches a certain like capacity, right? Like seventy percent or something. Yeah, I think um, I'm at seventy. I'm not sure what number I'm at. Let's go look. That's a number we could start tweaking to see what the best. Run multiple games. Yeah. I don't have a good way to do that yet. I gotta get like a batch script to simulate. I plan on making one once I get private repos. But yes, Nick, it's being determined based on when a majority of the bots I think it's not it's not based on when all the bots get to a certain percentage. It's well, I guess you could say it. It's based on an average across all of the ships that are currently alive. So I think it's five hundred. Hmm. Yeah, so it'll perform the move at 500. Let's try 700 just to see. Since we're simulating on the same seed over and over again, I'm kind of curious if we gather a little bit more halite before we we roll out. Oh my gosh, that made that made a big difference. Yeah. Which especially now that we're targeting halite, I guess that kind of makes sense go after more halite if you know you're actually going after the well, halite. but are you sure it's on the same seed oh must be it says seed four so yes are your i'm just confused does that mean your yellow bot is not deterministic no it's not at all he's causing problems okay for our testing yeah, that's... But I'm okay with it, because green won. We could run it again. Let's see what happens. We'll just run it a bunch of times and see how many times this green wins. Usually, well, it's better to have more deterministic bots. That way you can... Uh, 38,000. More accurate results. <laughs> wins again. Yeah. 27,000. Oh, I'm, I'm liking this, guys. Because we're talking about... 31,000. Oh. Or it might be the same as seed, but it's because still... of variances within bots. Yep. Yeah. So there's one other bit of code before I upload this to battle that I want to work back in here. And before I jump down that, I need to pull out, I think it's bot 17. Bot 17, do you have the code I need? You do. This is what I want right here. 17. Um, and I think... I just want to add a little bit of logic in here that if... If I have the opportunity to build a few more ships, let's go ahead and do it. The output is changing Wait, because certain right. certain bots are not determined, not deterministic. So the seed is the same, but since like some of my being, bots decide to move randomly one way or the other, yeah, which causes differences. Yeah. Else if so here's what I'm doing. I'm just adding in a little bit more logic. I need to make sure that global state equals move. And then I think the rest of it's still true. We're, then mm -hmm. we're gonna spawn a ship. Uh that closes that, that closes that. Mm. Uh, that shouldn't close that. Should learn batch. That's like, should be my next goal. Batch? Yeah, batch right. Batch scripting, yeah. Okay. I mean... No, I it's, mean, it's, 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 not, it's not a bad thing to do. It's so easy that I should be able to just quickly learn it. Yeah, no, I mean, it's just recreating the commands that you would have run anyway. Yeah. 30,000, I'm more interested in just overall score right here. 
26,000 and we lost that one. 31,000. See, this might be too late game. Won that one, but barely. Hey, Chops, welcome to the stream. Hello. Hello. Barely wins. Are you doing your your uh, programming? Yep. Cool. Continuing the. Are you going to join fight. us? I don't have time. Uh, then make time. <laughs> Clearly, it's that simple. My diva play has been uh, suffering. I believe, though, is the season over yet? Uh, I don't even know. Soon. Definitely soon. I haven't even played this season because I just. My ships is less than least ships. I feel like that code's not quite right, but I'm going to leave it anyway. Okay, I think oh. it's time. I think it's time to unleash the spot with its slightly more deterministic behavior into the wild and call tonight a success. It'll be the shortest. Shortest something or another. Where did my bot go? There. Boom. Save. Run. We'll validate that it loads. I think you need more tabs open. Yeah. Hush. I tried not closing a bunch of them because I got to go back to work later tonight and I didn't want to close all the stuff that I'm working on. I probably should have, but it is. Yeah, dude, I do. Just hop in a different browser. That's not a bad way to go. Interesting. For that particular replay, it it made the right decision, but for the wrong reason. Kind of. Let's just see which one wins. Green did not win. How come the first one I play, my bot, my new bot has to lose? <laughs> Also, does red scatter... See, this is what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if I never uploaded this version of the bot. Red scattered at 297. Oh, because it got home. Does it have fewer bots? It had fewer bots. It's scattered there. We then get caught in this collision war nightmare. We had oh, way no. more ships at that point, but they should scatter right here. There we go. But then they, then they don't have any more halite to grab. That's just a whole bunch of bad, bad scenarios. And then they all collide. Why did they all collide right there? Oh, that's just no fun. Okay, I'm happy enough with it though. So submit. Our bot has been successfully uploaded. Let's go check the leaderboards while we begin wrapping up tonight's little coding session here. We haven't got any games yet. Let's watch the last one our old bot played just to see what crazy behaviors it... Oh my gosh, this guy's all over the place with his build. We won this one, which is kind of fun. I'm yellow. do 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 Oh, poor yellow. I mean, it really took a beating there right at the end, but it wasn't enough to stop me. And I capped green, which wasn't very nice. But green was already dead at that point, so we're, we're good. That was interesting. Yeah, as Richard said earlier in a chat with me, my bot has a wonderful way of not winning at all one game and just dominating the next. Yeah, it's sad. Same with mine. Look at this. I had a game with Kevin, but Kevin beat me. Oh, yeah, because I'm just better. How much did you beat me by? Oh, my gosh. You guys um, just wiped me off the map. That was a challenge. Yeah. Oof. Oh, yeah. You're always fourth place in those. 
Well, yeah, because every single time my bot comes and rams all Richard's base for some reason. <laughs> yeah, but it's we're not getting... even supposed, it's not even supposed to get that big. Like, why is it? Why is it getting big enough to reach Richard's base? Somewhere there's a math error. Oh, it's because so you move over to left, you go down, you go back up, and then you move over to the left again. What? You oh. move to left, you go down, you go up, you move left. You know what I should? You know what I'm going back right. I, I'm just gonna do this. I I took this code out, but I think it's I think it's actually brilliant, brilliant code. Not necessarily brilliant, but it. It gets away from the problem that we're describing here. So, sensor I just died. Uh, if where'd my skip? Oh, maybe it's not in here. My ships, if available, ship index. My ship equals attack. Why am I doing that? Target owner, game, game player has been clear. Oh, that's clearing that. If my ship end game, don't really care. Else delete the ship. So I need a bot. I had a version of this bot um, that would scatter if somebody died. And that was fun. Yeah. Um... Where's the scatter now? Scatter. Well, let's just do it. We'll do it the same way we scatter otherwise, which is if somebody dies, I think we can just flip a variable. Flip. Global flip or global state equals move or global flip equals one. That's what we want to do. So except. Yeah, no, this is what we want to do. Or do we want to do it right away? Yep, I'll be back. Hmm, that's a good question. Did I die? Die. Sensor, I just died. If my ship dot state equals move together or my ship dot state equals home together, if they're trying to go home together or move together, then global flip them, which means they will go into other mode as soon as they get back to base. So we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it in to the editor. Maybe I don't have the editor open right now. It looks like uh, the the rating there started at forty nine. That's not horrible. We're gonna do it again. Save, submit. Uh, didn't actually start at forty nine. It started at forty. I got five games that quickly. One. I know they spun up more engines, which is nice, but five seems like a lot. Reload. Bot 46. I'm going to go watch one of these games just to see what it did. Did I actually beat him or did something go wrong for them? Jump to the end. Oh, I capped him. That's cheating. I still cap people. I just do it mid-game now, which isn't necessarily the most ideal time to do it. But um, Interesting. 24,000. Not enough to win. Why did it curve like that, though? I had 17 collisions. 35 collisions at the end. Not. That's a lot of ships. Got one win. It's showing me 48 at the moment. Is this the same game? No, I hadn't seen this one yet. Oh, same guy though. Capped him. Capping is no fun. Two games. Why? Maybe it's not showing me the games. Ooh, I want a four-player game. 
and second in the other one. That's not too bad. 51. It's oh, This is looking up. This is showing, trending in the right direction, guys. So who am I? I'm yellow. Wee, wee. And still don't have a collision. But I got to the halfway point of the game, and they scatter. And I just devastate myself. Like, there's there's something wrong with my movement here that I if I get worked out, like, just look at that. They all just... Let's go look at those moves. Because if I can get whatever's causing that to happen worked out of the system, I'd be golden. Um, da, 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 Sensor, mature... Okay, so... It's either... It could be sensor mature because they're going to... So it's either the hunter or the move classes that are the problem, which are things that got brought over but maybe didn't get brought over quite right. So let's go take a quick look. I'm actually getting energized by this. I was more tired at the start of this time than I feel like I am now. I'm still tired, but stupid bots just want to keep me going. Okay, so turtle move. Let's just read through this and see if we can remember how he moves. So, if halite amount is enough to move, and if halite amount is less than max halite divided by 20, so 50, so it will sit there until there's at least, uh, until there's less than 50. Then if turtle time on spot. Now, time on spot is something that gets calculated automatically. If it moves, it increments. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if in some instances, I wonder if that, I, I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't, it, directional offset, get all cardinals. It just picks a random, no, that should be fine. Picks a random location, that's fine. Else picks a random location in a specific quadrant, that's fine. Where to, game map, destination, get all cardinals. Where to direction is occupied. I don't really like that code, so we're going to make that go away. Safe moves, naive navigate, ship, and ship to destination. So that should be... I mean, that should be a safe move. Like, there shouldn't be a reason for it to collide. So I don't think it's coming from turtle move, per se. Might still be. Let's see what delivery is doing. Turtle hunter, step, blah 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 Sell halite amount, this targeted ship. Uh, what is it doing here? Target destination, turtle state, max turns. Test, target, game, normalize, halite amount. Which one are we in? Oh, we're in hunter. So this is the hunter bot. So the hunter bot will look... For a position, if that position is, and this dot is targeted. Oh, so this is me trying to be smart, but it doesn't like it. It will only target a cell that's not being targeted by somebody else. So that should prevent a double collision. Target destination, normalize, position, max X, that's fine. So that, and we set the destination to targeted, yep. So are we at the target? Then we don't need to do anything. That's fine. Um, else, only move if there's less halide on the map than we care about. So wait, if we... Distance to target is zero. Why don't we change its state? Because it should no longer be... Or do we? Where's new state? New state equals deliver. Oh, because it's still a hunter. That's fine. So distance to target. We reach the target. 
and then up here we'll set a new target destination which that should be fine okay else only move if there's less halite there than we care about we change this number for some reason from 18 that's fine if turtle time on spot we're gonna get rid of that code because that's unsafe move code I know it's supposed to move them out of the way but I'm not as happy with it turtle time on spot is greater than we're gonna move this to 10 I make a note here that this should be a star at some point. I agree. And then safe map, naive navigate, target destination. So that should be safe. Like they shouldn't be colliding either. And this is when we determine. It's an interesting little formula for when we determine on what to return. If max halite is less than, yeah, that sounds good to me. Okay, so let's let's run it. Make sure it's not bugged. Do do do. Thirty-six thousand halite. That's a pretty dang good number for what we've been seeing so far. If we go back to the halite programming here let's go see how our bot is doing right now i don't know if the stuff i just did it will actually improve it we got 12 games that quickly that is just awesome um so let's upload yet another bot iterative improvements that's what we're doing right now and hopefully i've been editing the right stuff I'm not going the other way save submit so every time we do this, the downside, of course, is that uh, it resets our our little score here. So our bots, it'll it'll make it so that we have we automatically drop by a very large number. Um, but I'm okay with that because it just means then that I need to sleep on it and watch it go back up. Let's see how this game played out. No, he went way north there, but that's okay. Low density map. Eventually the whole team gets there. I kind of want to play around with the that 700 number. Because if it's... Let's think that through. If it's lower density... We were talking about this earlier, Kevin. If you're back, um, there's a, so one of the numbers that I haven't used in any of my formula generations is how much halite's actually available. Um, and it's an interesting thing to think about because, you know, how long you sit on a spot, you know, if the halite is scarce, you might sit there longer simply to grab all the halite you can because that's all that's left and then go from there. Um, I'm not really sure what the right answer is there. So 20% collected at 20%. Should you move, you know, stay 20% longer kind of thing, 100% longer? If the halite's over 50% collected, do you stay until it's gone? How much should you return with? I mean, yeah, these are all all loaded questions. Um, let's go back to viewing the profile. Seven games, and I won all of them except this one, and I came in second in this one, and it only put me at 52. Stop putting me against bad bots. Oh, but that is pretty. Oh, I capped, though. Capping is not, it's not a demonstration of skill. Capping is a demonstration of abusing players who haven't figured out how not to be capped. Cap two of them in this one. Still 23,000. I'll take it. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I had fewer collisions with myself that game. That's good. 
but they did get they did get locked up. So I need to figure out the swap mechanic. That's the other It's the other mechanic that I don't really have in here. When two bots are next to each other, they should be able to swap position to unlock themselves if that's what needs to happen. Um, I really need a better move function. Like that's that's what this is all coming back to. I need to get that kind of movement in place. Um, and my brain just, I, I don't have the capacity to do it tonight. Uh, but what I think I'm gonna do to build it out is try to try to just deal with two bots on a linear plane so two bots working one line here and when one goes out and gets full then the other one comes back and I'm just gonna send them all on one line here and maybe even three then four and see if I can teach them to swap and not die um, because that's swapping is actually extremely efficient in terms of movement and I don't have the ability to do it yet. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's go back to the scoreboard. 11 games. We're at 45.9. And I mean, with the exception of this one right here that we lost. That's a lot of trophies in the last 10 games. I'm okay with that. So what happened in this game? I'm back. Oh. Capped yellow late game. If I had capped yellow earlier, let's do that. Let's, let's get the attack bot back into more viciousness. But it does break the line. And I only send. Okay, so if ship or ship sense if ship we never send more than two. I don't know why. I is zero, I player size. I don't know why it's two. That's just silly. Uh, Justin, <sighs> the Overwatch season ends in three days. Three days? Oh, that's... So the question becomes, do I make the effort to try to get back to plat when I'm, like, 50 away? I know Blizzard's just going to screw me. I'll get within two again, and then I'll lose. And then I'll get within <laughs> one, and then I'll lose. I have done zero... Uh, games this season. Zero. <laughs> and now I'm okay with that. Zero competitive games. Yeah, zero competitive games. And very few, just, I played a little bit here in the last week. I do like me my competitive still. Uh, let's see. So, get ships, available ships, sort, da, 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 da. We trigger Sensor and Rage, but Sensor and Rage can only be triggered. If. I think a flip is triggered. That's the Sensor Array. Where is the Sensor Array? Jordy LaForge, get the Sensor Array back online. <laughs> Jordy's blind. Yeah. Tell me about it. Hey, thanks for the bits, Cheppy. Have a good night. Hope to see you tomorrow. Let's see. Um, we could enrage. If. If game dot turn number I can I remember what turn numbers variable is? D 
do, do, do. Looking, 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 looking. It is game dot turn number. I was right. Game dot turn number is greater than. Let's do max turns divided by four. I don't know why. Then we can also do sensor in rage because it sounds fun. And uh, there's one other thing I wanted to do that just kind of crossed my mind. Uh, but now I don't remember what it was. I was going to... It's going to change some other behavior. Oh, I went to 700. I want to try 800. What? For how much they have to gather before they go home. Oh, yeah. See, this is what a bad trip would be for. You would just put all of your special variables defined, get basically some function slash class of some sort that would read it from files, and then the game would update it, and then things would be awesome. Although, the one minor problem would be figuring out how to make it multi-language work with many languages language compatible why would that matter um it could just be a batch script running the script over and over again reading the json oh yeah touche but well sure it reads the json but there's oh yeah reading and updating the json yeah. And then the JS has to pull from the JSON, which isn't a bad idea. You know, I could probably write that right now. Yeah. In C sharp. Just a quick little push this button and watch it count. I'm not going to, but I could. Uh in visual C sharp. Yeah, that way I could have a nice little interface for it and it would count the games right in front of me. It could be fun. I like 700. Let's do um, hold me hold me equals 600. Let's do let's do 500, but then hold me equals hold me plus 100. If hold me is greater than 800. <laughs> Hold me equals 800. What's hold me? How much it's willing to hold. So as the game goes on, it's going to hold more. Mm -hmm. Which that's even harder to test for. Like, how do you find that for you? Uh oh. I don't think it liked that. Heard. There was an error. Oh, zero highlight. Reggie. Maybe you didn't initialize. Hold me. Hold me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it had to be something simple. Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, 27,000. Not bad, but it's not better. 36,000. <laughs> That's a little bit better. But it's hard to... 33,000. Because of these random. Well, there are definitely more Halite things spinned. For whatever that's worth. What do you mean spinned? I've been getting... I got a ton of games, man. Like, I'm probably at like yeah. 20 already. 16, so, look at this. Yeah, there, there are a lot more workers. I know. It's awesome. Except... The thing is, is because of the how it works out, I basically went against this guy <laughs> you five, go? six times. Is that a challenge or is that, I mean, what, no. did, what happened? It's just because RNG can't really update itself due no. to, well, 
because of I don't actually I don't know. Here comes Bot Forty Eight. I'm gonna go watch this game while Bot Forty Eight gets its first attempts. That wasn't a half bad game. Did I win this one? All the highlights in the middle. And a lot of people die in a tragic death. But the blockers get in the way. I love it. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, it's like, so here's, here's what I know, Kevin. If you want yeah. to instantly get to the 50s, build the, put the attack strategy in with the first three guys. That's like instant 55. Attack strategy? Yeah, my cheese strategy. Like that'll instantly put you at 55 if you do that. No. Yeah. I'm serious. I put it in for only two player games and I'm on 53 rank. I'm put up it, there. So, so here's the thing. If it caps one player in a four player game, you may not yeah. win. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to take fourth. Touche. So, I don't know. I I think there's a lot of value to it. Oh no, now I'm not getting any games. What has happened? Oh, we know. do that. Let's go look at the leaderboard. Has anybody else submitted bots tonight? Simland hasn't submitted for three days. He's yeah. dreading refactoring his code. Kevin has Just, been, uh, I don't know what Kevin's been doing. I'm learning stuff. Same with Simlin. Simlin's learning oh, object oriented. What did you say? Ah, I'll do it. How did, oh, it is it is definitely the OMG. Anytime you say OMG is what's yeah. tripping it. Every yeah. time. Every time. But pumpkin bread, that sounds delicious. Maybe. I don't know. I used to be this, uh. like, huge bread connoisseur and then all the places that had good bread around me oh, stopped but it also giving free has good bread two exclamation points at the end it could have been the exclamation points too no i don't think i don't think he cares about that okay i've been submitting owen hasn't submitted a bot for five days bluby hasn't submitted one for four Zamorath has uh Just started one yesterday but he's on v1 so that and soccer dude Soccer dude, I'd like to congratulate you on having a V2 bot, but you're still your two days, you know, you got to get your brother. Nick, you got to at least submit one so we get you on the scoreboard. Yeah, um, same with Penguin. And Josh. Penguin. And Penguin. Y'all just got to submit one. Gosh, it's okay. Penguin. It'll happen Friday. Friday will be the day. Yeah, you can be pushed into submitting a bot. I think all those bots spun down. Hey, and King Richard has made it to the stream probably as I'm getting ready to wrap up because, well, I don't want to stay up till 1230 again. And did you submit a new bot? I did. I submitted. I added a few minor improvements Hopefully you to, go the, to the bot. <laughs> to your mean bot? It can be mean at times. Yeah, I, I don't like to play next to you. Let's put it that way. Yeah. I'd rather be kitty corner of your bot. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's a lot of little meanness things about it from the side swipe action to the attack bot <laughs> that is somewhat back in it. The attack bot's not a problem for me, but no. uh, I, it was fun to watch you be bullied. I, I, I checked some of yours where you won outright against uh, some people. It was fun to watch your, your attack bot go into mode and just stop them all. Yep, there's... But your sweepers are annoying because they just eat up all my ships. They have so if I'm in the wrong spot or get unlucky, like you just sweep through and kill all of my ships. You don't win. I don't win. <laughs> just if sad. you need help, hit me up. I can help you. Um, hmm. I've noticed in that last game that you just looked at, uh, a lot of the highlight that you got was because you scattered. Yeah, and that happens. That's part of the reason why I do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the the sweeping thing is more about building ships in an effective and quick way. Um, yeah. Well, it also decreases the 
uh, movement cost. Yep. So there's, mm -hmm. I mean, there's some interesting little perks <clears throat> to doing it, but once it, once they get to this size, I mean, it almost, I wonder. There's bots were still doing really weird things. I don't know if you fixed that tonight. Uh, I may have fixed some of it. Um, not all of it. I saw though. them like go, just go all the way north and wrap around the map a few times. I think they raked through my base, killing egg so much stuff. <laughs> yeah, they have their moments. This, this is for sure. But the scatter, scatter takes care of some of it. Um, in late game mechanic type stuff, and I could probably do more. I, I wonder. I wonder what would happen if I created a second swiper. <laughs> no, it's just gonna it's gonna cause more ships to get killed. I was gonna say what you really should be doing is you shouldn't be doing the long line like you do. I was waiting for you to do the pinwheel action where you so the line comes out left, then it goes back right or whatever, and then you the next ships you spawn spawn out like north or south, and then they kind of sweep you know, in a different pattern. So you, so like, as you said it, you create the swastika, I guess, but well, you I know, mean, don't create the swastika, just create a square, if you will. Yeah, there was a, there was a version of this idea, but I couldn't figure out a way to like, it, it was pure movement at that point. It wasn't necessarily, um, yeah, you can't do movement. the circle sweep. Yeah. Because I, then one bot's just kind of sitting still for a while. If you ever watch marching band at a football parade, the guy that's in the middle of it isn't really moving. Yep. <laughs> and that's exactly it. There's always there's always somebody that gets stuck and then you still have to pull them back. I don't know. I don't I don't have a right answer. And then we were talking about pluses earlier today, me and Kevin. Yeah. Um and what would you happen create if you, a window. Yeah. Yeah, window wipers that work on opposite or and because you need one in the X and one in the Y, you wouldn't want them crossing over each other at a time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, like, when one gets out all the way, send another one up or send, like, get them operating on alternating sequences. Alternating corners, exactly. Um, I think actually, that'd be more effective because, well, because you're long line of ships, I think you waste a lot of movement, possibly. I don't know. Yeah. You, you lose a lot of ships. You were still having one spot where you were spawning. And I think it's happening in this game even. You're killing your own ships or failing to spawn. Uh, I think you kill your own ships. Like the third from the right on the way back left. So they've gone left, they've gone right, now they're coming back left. The third from the right like is getting clipped. The third from the or right. Or fourth. I don't think any... I don't think it's just here. existent. Yeah, I it no. There's a there's a plus one error that happens after the second loop through that I haven't pulled out of the code. Um, that's why there's always a gap that shows up after two trips. Um, so that guy why. collided into red. Oh, that's 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 why it gets painful. I get too close to the other side. That's when it. Yeah, you get clipped. That's why in two player games you should go north and south. That's I no yeah, I switched actually. I did I did build north south before and I actually run into some of the same problems. <laughs> I don't hit their base, but I hit uh I hit them. I don't have as big of a swath to go up and down. Oh well, <sighs> no. Well cause if you um, mm. It's all about trade-offs. So okay, back to the. If you create board. a bunch of ships, if you just create a bunch of ships, like an excessive number of ships, and then you send off half of your ships to go kill all their ships, I mm -hmm. think you might still win. <laughs> <laughs> you'll is... have a ton of ships, but they can't return to the halite, and you'll be able to mine the map without worrying about them. There's something about that. Oh, uh, let's see. Oof, you really are. Look at if you're playing against so I was like, oh I played against him a little bit. You're you're moving up fast. No, I'm not. Hmm. I'm moving up. Oh, you're at least your game. What to do? I was moving up, but now it's slowed down again. You're 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 
your mean was 56 for a second, wasn't it? Yeah. What happened? I don't know. So the I'm going to try something. to it. I, I, <laughs> I want to see where... Let's go. <laughs> Let's go back to the. Um... You said you said you mean what happened to it, and I said the mode got to it. No. <laughs> Statistics humor. Um. Okay, so thirty-seven. It was seventeen. That's right? so funny. Bot seventeen. I think I'm Who's gonna. Chat tour. By the way. Uh, just uh, someone who was watching the stream at one point. They were. They were yeah. also on the whatever it's called. I thought we, that's two different people because then we have someone else that was watching the stream. Yeah, that was Define Evil slash. See, I'd program a bot, but it looks yeah. like you gotta do a bunch of stuff, and that's just tiring. Like chop shoot Not really. Us. Spaghetti code is <sighs> working well for me. Oh really? <laughs> You know, object oriented programming. Uh, I actually wrote some code here because I wasn't listening to the stream, so oh, okay. I wasn't distracted. Lucky you. I actually spent the time that I was spending that I would have spent coding today. I actually spent reading about uh solving algorithms. Ooh, nice. Linear programming. Uh, linear. Max flow problems, min flow problems, I need to learn graph navigations, that. traveling salesman problem. Yeah. Oh yes, the good old traveling salesman. Creating a salesman. complete loop, and then I came to the conclusion that it's uh, possibly going to be far too hard and complex to come up with a legitimate formula or a solve for that. <laughs> Based formula on formula for what? Well. They, they've they really complicated things by that you change the cost to move by yeah. actively harvesting. Like, that change is enough to make, like, doing it from a, I think, from a, a mathematics trying to solve kind yeah, of way, that. almost not very smart or possible. It changes it from an x to an x squared, and you got to handle it with different constants of how it grid. Yeah, I think it even gets harder, though. Yeah, probably. <laughs> like, a like, lot harder. <laughs> you have to... Well, every single tile has the variable of Halley on it. And it adds up, and then you gotta figure it out compared to... Well, so... For example, if you were to just stay on one tile that has a thousand and mine it until it's all all the way gone... I believe yeah. that's 23 turns. Yeah. is what my math said. And, uh, like, that's super efficient, right? Because you don't lose any halite, but it took you 23 turns. Yeah. And there are more effective ways to get 1,000 halite. And yep. so it's uh, you have multi trying to solve with respect to yeah. total halite received minimizing cost and minimizing time i don't even think i care to minimize cost i just i think i think what i'm aiming for is total halite per turn and i don't care about cost yeah you know what i mean like it's yeah. in there but it, i'm not gonna solve to minimize cost Basically. but that's your efficiency statistics yeah and then let's not even bring up inspiration right because that just that just makes things so much more complicated god Yeah, so I think I'm going to have to do a bunch of Monte Carlo simulations um, in, like, a small contained setting to try to get some uh, variables time. variables to try to, to set the behaviors of the bots, I think is what I'm going to end up doing because I don't think I'm going to have the ability to solve. So I am going to put some, oh, some of the decision-making on the bots rather than having an overall AI solve the grid every single time, right? Yeah. Because I don't think you can solve the grid every time, but I think you can. I think you can solve bots within a decent, decent probability. Yeah, you have two seconds to handle a lot of thinking. 
You do, but you don't have to, you do, but yes. I think that's the thing is you have to realize that you actually don't have to look at the whole graph. So you know, yeah. it actually went down. That's the goal is to minimize the amount that you have to actually look on at that turn and to extract certain things. Right, but okay, let's just talk through this example. So yeah. you have one bot, right? And just all you have is one bot. And you want to maximize it getting halite, right? Yep. You have to figure out what that maximization problem actually is. Is it, it just getting a thousand? Or is it getting the closest, the best node? So just one step away? Mm -hmm. Whereas getting a thousand halite is a problem unto itself. Getting a thousand halite and then having an effective move back could be looking in ahead like 10 turns whereas you could go all the way to solving the entire grid so the bot has a pre-programmed path mm -hmm. before the game even starts it's going to follow the whole time that doesn't account for the enemy doing things but yeah. you know what i mean like at some mm -hmm. point those are all different solutions that exist out there for regular graph traversals but they don't necessarily apply because the how much stuff is changing every single turn you need to figure out where along that spectrum you're happy in terms of where you know where you see a good return for processing power right yeah that's kind of fun also i'm waiting for my object oriented code to get to the point where i can have fun again <laughs> yeah so i was looking into like different mathematical deriving stuff whatnot figure out it's Theoretically, halite efficiency is halite over turns, which I don't is... think that's how they define it, is it? Just well, a little... No, no, I, well, I don't think it tells you there. Isn't it total collected or used or something like that? Yeah, it's collected versus mined. But, like, theoretically, you want to mine as much halite as you can as soon as possible. So, mm -hmm. in my mind, halite efficiency would be halite over time because if you spend less time getting more halite and you're doing better then i totally agree with you i think that's the way that you have to do it yeah i think that's the way you need to come at it but i'll hit you with this i think you need to come at it with that is what you do in the beginning but you need to change because it ultimately right you whether you beat the other person or not it has no it, it does not matter how much halite you actually collect right it's just whether or not you beat the other person so yeah, you could ch well because you can change your strategy, right? Yeah, to like, kill the their bots or to you know instead of effectively getting as much halite as fast as possible, once there's not a lot of halite on the map, instead of having your bots return right rapidly, trying to keep that halite per turn high, they just store up a bunch and then all return home or. Yeah. There, there's a lot of different strategies, and I think that during different parts of the game, you probably want to deploy different optimization problems. But that also ties into the fact of, like, what you're talking about of, hey, should I grab a little bit and then return, return quickly versus mm -hmm. store up and then return later? Yeah. It also deals with halide over time because if, say, you have a drop-off closer versus if you're going to back to the shipyard... It probably is better to stock up on highlight just because of the amount of turns that it takes for you to get to that tile. Yeah, they go back and forth for sure. And then you have the other I like if you do store up a bunch of halite, someone can come along and just completely wreck you. So the longer the longer you're farther in theory, farther farther away from your shipyard, the more likely you are to be destroyed, right? Uh, Assuming probably, that near your yeah. shipyard is more safe than not, but Did you there are Justin's out there. Oh, Justin. I think he keeps resubmitting and he keeps going down. I'm not sure. Probably. Yeah. So, so I here's what I did. I'll just I'll talk through the last few games. So this was let's just start. This was not. Yeah, so this was tonight's first submission, uh, which I guess technically this is the scores from the... It only survived this long. So, um, 
So here's, yeah, here's tonight's first mission. It was here for five minutes, 41.7. It probably would have gotten a little higher over time, obviously, but I was like, you know, we can do a little bit better. 43.9, that looked good, 46. And then the latest update, which I forget what I changed or added, but that went in the other direction, which I'm not happy about. And here's here's what I did now, and this is... I'm going to let this one run just a little bit because I'm kind of curious to see where it ends up. I went and uploaded the bot from when I hit 57. Oh, you're a hateful bot. Yeah, I went I went and uploaded him. and yeah, I would like to see how he finishes now. Yeah, I want to see how far he gets up is kind of the thing. Um, because there are, there are some things that that bot had that I still haven't worked back into any of the bots I've built since. Uh, and... now you, so what Justin's doing here, people, is he's smurfing. <laughs> yes. He's smurfing. Which is he, tanked his, he tanked his rank and then put in his diamond friend. <laughs> oh. Something like that. So we should report him. I think so. I guess. I mean, it's not my fault that their algorithm, you know, drops me eight points every time I submit a new bot. No, um, it drops you 24 points two times every sigma. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three times sigma. Is it three? Yeah. Times 8.33. Well, whatever the case is. Um, yeah, oof. Yeah, so I'm like this. This is the bot just to refresh people's memory of it. The first wave is always an attack wave. And then somewhere around the halfway point. It will build a, I forget what the rules are exactly, but it should build a base, it, it, I guess, mm -mm. it will. Are you sure? I don't think this one had the base. Yeah, no, this is this is the one that had the base that it would build right between two points. Let me see if I can get are it to Are you happen. sure? Yep, yep right I here. Thought... Right there. I mean, see? You're winning. He's right there. Boom. Yep, eight seconds. He'll build, yeah, this this was the my first attempt really my only attempt at building at building bases and mm -hmm. it turned out to be rather valuable a rather valuable learning lesson in efficiency and how it came up for the location of the base was always interesting as well <laughs> but i at um, least know how mine decide where to build a base i'm not even sure like i i have to go back and look but this is i mean this was spaghetti code this is this Don't is before the cleanup mock spaghetti code Let's see, Spaghetti if, if I have 4,000 and I haven't built one and it's sixty less than 60% of the game, so I have to have the resources, then mm -hmm. the rule is... How, when do you shut off your ships? 50%? Uh, I think I, the forced generation, I think, stops at 35 um, in this spot, but let's go look uh, if I can find it in this mess. Um... I find spaghetti code very readable. <laughs> I don't anymore. <laughs> um, yeah. I forgot I had two different classes of hunter bots too. Um, 35 is force generation, 75% if I'm losing. Does that make sense? I feel like Richard's in the 55s looking good I'm trying to fix up my arch and make it look better <laughs> I like it when my board looks like this nope. Kevin does this inflate my does this He's inflate the MSA pro. leaderboard when I do this shit yeah I shouldn't, I shouldn't say it that way but yep it does sweet <laughs> soul caliber Four. It's kind of cheating, but... I mean, it doesn't matter for organizations. No, it really doesn't. Dude, Sigma, annoying, stupid. Yeah, I mean, the fact that you can run up the leaderboard simply by adding more people to your team is kind of silly. Yeah. Ooh, super Meat Boy for a buck fifty. Really? I have it already, but really. Oh, can I get ten in a row? Can I get ten in a row? Wait. 
Wait, well, you could get 30 copies for $45. And do what with that? Um, that makes sense. Uh, you know what you normally do with copies. Play them. Why, why would I need 30 copies of this game? I'm sorry, why wouldn't you need 35, 30 copies of the game? Interesting. <laughs> it did. It did I don't the know opening. What to do right now. Huh. I could go to bed, but I don't really want to yet. I'd be down for that. I'm going to go to bed in just a little bit. I want to watch the rank a little bit longer. I do want to end the stream, though, probably in three minutes. We'll end, we'll end in three minutes. I am two games away from being 10 in a row. <laughs> I might re-download my bot, add in some attack logic just so that I can get the sweet, sweet rating points that Justin's cheesing into. It's a strategy. I developed it early on. It worked. It's amazing to me that people in the 55s are still using 100% safe moves. All it tells me is that my... Damn it. My ship, Wait, did I get my ship managing nope. logic is better than most people at the rank I'm at, but their harvesting is better than mine. Yeah, definitely. Like, as what it looks like. I figured out one day that six bots harvested as much as 20 bots. Well, they ended up with the same end score, which means that the 20 bots harvested 14,000 more. But yeah. still, that's not much. When I'm doing my stupid little test uh, yeah. over here or whatever, I was testing. I was doing some forced movement to make sh to see if like ships could cross each other, and they can. Yep. Um, it's beautiful. It, I only created two ships, and they they harvested like eighteen thousand. Yeah. With my regular logic, and I was like, this is only like on a ma similar map. It's like only twelve thousand worse than like when my bots go crazy, do like just to do their own thing. Sometimes it's like, yeah. what? <laughs> Someone brought up that it'd be cool if you wanted to test your navigate, just put four, four ships on a two by two grid. And that's when you'll figure out if your navigate works or not. Because they'll all yep. just swap positions constantly. They should. And if not, got to fix it. Oh no, my other one would not will not swap that, and that's why I'm refactoring. They, yeah. They'll actually what yeah. they'll actually do is they'll un they'll unstuck it themselves. It'll just take probably two times as many turns as it needs to take. Yeah. But well, yeah, it's, I, well, wait, I, no, I pretty much. No, if they won't swap, you can't get out of that. You won't see your guys move at all. That is absolutely incorrect. They'll just crash then. Yeah, they'll crash. No. No, I in, absolutely in, can handle that with the code that I have, my bots. Then you can they swap. Absolutely can. No, they they can't. What? That by definition, you cannot move four bots on a two by two grid without swapping. Oh, you mean limited exactly to a two by two grid? Yeah. Yes. Limited exactly. Oh that's, yeah, no. And once no. that's solved, then your navigate no. works. No, mine handle the two by two grid by moving outside the grid. <laughs> so. If well, because that's the actual yeah. situation you have in the game. You're not limited. You have an infinitely toroidal space, so yeah. you can move around. My bots. That's the thing is they're not switching, which is why my bots are inefficient because it's losing like half the turns in the game. Not exactly because you only lose turns when the bots are next to each other. Yeah, but that's about it. I gotta stop thinking of Halite though as being the determination as to whether or not you're going to win. I mean, because Halite is based on a whole number of factors, and yeah, just because you I get 60,000 in one game doesn't mean... I mean, some <laughs> maps don't even have 60,000 Halite on them. You uh -huh. have to look at Halite compared to your opponent at the rank. You can't look at aggregate Halite that you received. No. You can't, yeah, you can't compare from game to game. You can look at relative Halite. Percentages. If you look at total Halite before you start. I mm -hmm. do. Yep. You. I'm interested. This is just so mean. It is. But you I feel like I should. 
it's a waste of my time to add it in right now. I'll just continue to I stay hope. at about 55 <laughs> forever. Yeah, I want to update my uh, Kevin beat me in one of the games. I wasn't happy. Oh, it's the game with Justin's the chips completely wrecked mine because they set up <laughs> a phalanx and just went right through me. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so Justin and I both lost. I think Justin actually beat me on that one too just because I lost so many ships. <laughs> Yeah, so here's here's my official little plan for the moment. Um, just because I'm going to be wrapping up this stream, and besides leaving this here just to see where it ends up rank wise, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this guy run tomorrow night. Uh, I'm gonna start not from scratch, but I'm gonna start from uh, uh, what I call base spot or whatever. The it's kind of the initial class that I built right when I when I got the classes in place. But the next, the thing that I'm going to do now is exactly what Kevin said. I'm actually, the thing that bothers me more than anything is that my movement is not right. There is definitely, yeah. definitely, so I, I got to get the swap mechanic in there. And so I'm going to go back to base spot, get the swap mechanic in there. I doubt I'm going to get it done tomorrow night um, unless by some miracle I get a good night's sleep tonight. Uh, but... Uh, I'll try to do that on stream Friday morning. We've got computer club. I'm debating actually live streaming computer club, um, which I realize that's seven in the morning. Nobody's going to watch it, but, uh, just for recording sake, um, computer club starts that is before school. I think you've always said yeah, that. yeah. Yeah. It goes from seven to nine in the morning. Ugh. Um, when we did math. <laughs> yeah, this is true. It is when we used to do math. Um, but, uh, the game from seven to eight and then from eight to nine, we code. Um, so I might stream it for like the kids who aren't there. They can watch the recording later and we're going to go through, we might go through the tutorial, but I think right now I'm just going to try to get everybody in and get a JavaScript bot up, um, and have them play around with it and do a few experiments with it. That's our first also, look at that link that I sent in the Twitch. Uh, it's... Do I have a quick and easy way to get to Twitch? So what I'm trying to say is this bot's actually going to be sitting here for a while, um, which is part of the reason I uploaded it, because I, like I said, I do want to see how high it will go. I'm kind of curious if it still technically beats yours, Rich, as it currently stands. It doesn't. You say that, but I'll, I'll be No, curious. it doesn't. When Kevin did a challenge between our bots, and I beat you every single time. Uh, whether or not whether or not it beats you is not what I meant. Whether or not it'll end up at a higher rating than you is and what it, I'm it trying did. to say. It was. It was. I don't know if it will anymore. I don't know how many people have adapted strategies. I mean, even like my bot currently, I think what still existed with your current with this one, and you were ranked higher. Like I said, free ranking points by doing this strategy. Sacrifice three ships to get like six mean or whatever six rating probably mm -hmm. but again i don't know because it, it might have an upper ceiling of like say 56 so because i'm at 55 i might only be able to get like a half of a point out of it yeah and that well that's what i'm trying to get at i'm trying to figure out if that ceiling is still sitting at 55 56 that's i mean that's where it was it was somewhere there there was one bot in the 60s that was doing it um that i saw but I think they had better movement than me. Um, so yeah, I'd like to I'd like to see how high it's it's still going. And that bot, I haven't run this bot now for probably close to a well, it hasn't really been a week, has it? Um, probably four or five days. So I don't I don't know that I've technically faced the bot you've got up there now. Um, yeah. I mean, did. I know again, I know you guys will beat it clearly because you all have the check for in a one on one match. I'm going to lose. Um, Yep, a four and four. Oh, sorry, four player. Um, hopefully we get one of those games because the challenges occur. Do we have, yeah, do we have challenge? I haven't even looked at challenges lately. Do, are we people do. still doing this? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Here's challenges. Woo! Except I haven't gotten a game in the past thirty minutes. I'm about to break fifty again. Do, do, do. 
So I'm gonna yeah. So that's my plan. So this bot's gonna be running again for a while just to to see what happens. Plus I'll be getting ready for the new one or the test. The next round of testing is what's gonna be happening. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll pick that up starting again tomorrow night on stream. So, uh, and by the time uh, I, I, I don't know. We're I, I think I think the real challenge here is who's gonna get to sixty first. That's gonna be the the real question. Yeah, I'll probably work on the bot. You know, tomorrow when I have free time because you'll be in the server room all day. Yeah, you could clean. Clean is probably I, more than important than Halite. I'll probably clean, but I'm just saying it'd be nice to see the floor again. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah, that's neither here nor there. In any case, uh, with that, I'm gonna sign off the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed the experiments we ran tonight. Uh, you know, like. Comment, follow, subscribe, whatever, all those fun things. We'll be back probably tomorrow night at around 9, 10 central. And look forward to seeing you then. So have a great night, Twitch.